Slack attack. Now. Fresh meats and produce. Jewelry. How about one of these? Rare trinkets in the finest oddities. Beautiful marbles and gleaming gemstones over here. Salomon perform miracles with steel, eh? I always forget which levels up more rings or necklaces. Uh let's make an equal amount of both. Get that there. There, hedge my bets. <laughs> That's it. That's all the silver gone. Next, we should have a whole bunch of leftover leather, which we can use to make leather bracers. Tons of leather. Bubbles and gleaming gemstones over here. Yeah, epic business right here. Here we go. Let's turn all this into leather. Here we go. 45 leather. Now, what? an easy formula to figure out how many leather you need to turn into leather strips in order to crank out leather braces is just simply divide the amount of leather you have by three. So we have to turn 15 leather into leather strips in order to have the perfect amount of leather and leather strips to make leather bracers. It's one to two. One leather to two leather bracers. Brings so, you a balament today. Repair. Let's do it. First of all, let's check make sure we have still have our bonuses. Yes, Just... we do. And... I'm forgetting something here. I also wanted to make some leather gear. Okay, tell you what. Let's make... Twelve for now. Yeah. Just, uh... Just for good measure, I want to make a complete set of leather gear. So, leather armor. Leather boots. Like leather bracers, white hot. leather helmet. Okay, now what's our gown? <laughs> I know, pretty complicated here. I'd say turn another 12 leather into strips. Are we stuck here? What's going on? Okay, here we go. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? That would bring leather down to 21. Down to 10. Let's check the count. 21 leathers. Oh, I overshot. <laughs> overshot by a lot. Oops. Okay. No biggie. Didn't do a quick save. It's like, yeah, I know. I should have done a quick save. Okay, here we go. Leather bracers. Come on, 63, had a boy. Just short of 64, the magic number. That's okay, we can still use those leather strips for uh, for other things. For example, making um, steel daggers. We actually have the goods to make steel daggers. If we could just smelt those iron ore into ingots, if you just go over to White Run. Haha, <laughs> see I knew there's a reason I made those extra leather strips. <laughs> sure, it's like no 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 I knew I knew. Waste not want not. 
A steel dagger can be made with one iron ingot, one steel ingot, and one leather strip. This should be just enough to put us at 64. I won't even have to use any skill books. This is great. Okay, here we go. Did we lose our well rest one? Yes, we did. I know I could do it here, but um, I like taking care of business in Riften. And hopefully I didn't lose those iron daggers. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I left them in the barrel there. I should have slow walked them down to the... Please still be there. Thank you. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, quick save. <laughs> okay, we should now be able to make uh, a whole bunch of steel daggers. There we go. Ten, to be exact. And this might do it. This might get us up to the magic number of 64. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come on, come on. Uh, not just short. Just short. What else can we do? I'm clean out of everything. But we could buy some supplies downstairs with Sindis now that we have him available. Come so, to see Balaman. And we could sell him some of these dwarven bows too. Okay, I'm gonna take a chance and hope that those angry daggers will still be there. Go offload the dwarven bows, offload everything else, and uh, come up and fetch the iron daggers. Known that I still had the Shrine of Zenithar bonus, I would have given the beggar a coin. No biggie. No biggie. Okay, let's finally take advantage of Sindis. He has a gold supply. He won't buy stolen goods, but these dwarf and bows that we made are not stolen. Take a look. They're crafted. Now, I want to keep two. So let's sell them seven. Very good. All right then. All right then. And now I'd like to empty out the inventory as much as possible so I can bring down those iron daggers. Okay, give me a minute to get organized. We are good. I actually have stuff to sell. And I forgot that Tanili has, has money because we refreshed, uh, if I recall correctly, trying to keep all these... Uh... You have money, right? The cozy little fam. Why don't you take a look all at right. some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. How about some leather bracers? And some fine jewelry. I kept some silver necklaces and some silver rings. All the rest we can offload. But we're in the money again. Alright, cool. Who says that crime doesn't pay? And we still have some potions to sell. Oh, she's out of money. Okay, done and done. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, we have two dwarven bows, two dwarven metal ingots, blacksmith potion, we are just short of 
leveling up to 64 level 64 just a little bit okay so Let's go see what Sindus has for sale with regards to smithing materials. Take a look. We could buy these. Ten iron nuggets. And we have some steel nuggets. We can make some steel daggers. Right, that man. should do it. That should do it. I don't know if this is cost effective to make steel daggers as opposed to iron daggers, but uh, it seems to me it would be. We're on our way to epic, people. Don't forget to dump the daggers in the barrels, like Yeah, I know, I'm getting nervous about those. Let me just try to get... What's our carry weight like? Okay. Don't want to lose that. That's like a nice big batch of daggers that we can use to power level enchanting later on. Let's go grab them right now. If you're looking for a handout, Please don't be there. Please don't be there. Please don't be there. Please don't be there. Dad, a boy! This is a good big batch of iron daggers. And we can take you on? Great. Okay. Good. suppose I could do this. Ran out of the well-rested bonus. So what time is it? Um, good. Balaman's on his break again. Guy drinks a lot of coffee, let me tell you. You have some nerve coming back here after what oh. you did to Kirava. Sure thing. The fuck it's did it. I do? I'll show you to your <laughs> room. Right this way. Dude. Doors over there. It's just business, nothing personal. Key Rabbit doesn't seem to mind. He seems that rather pleasant about the whole thing. You, you don't mind, do you? The whole thing with Brynjolf, you know? And the threats and whatnot. After all, she did tell Brynjolf to go jump in the canal. Let us not forget. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Okay, here we go. This is it, people. If you're looking for a handout, 64. To speak with my hut. Warrior, warrior stone, well rested. Quick save before every major crafting session. Cranking him out here, boss. Oh yeah, easy, no problem. Okay, so we got up the magic number of 64. We can now make epic. Dwarven bows. Beautiful. It's got everything we need. Blacksmith potion. Um, actually, there's something else I want to do too. And I forgot about this. Let me just go quickly downstairs and buy four leather. I'll just skip ahead. Alright, I'm back. This is it, people. The end of the epic journey. Okay, now we have a couple of spare perk points. We have smithing over 60. That means we can get the arcane blacksmith perk, which will allow us to improve magical weapons and armor. Very important. Next. Blacksmith potion. One, please. And epic dwarven bow. All together now. Big Homer Simpson. Woohoo! And let's improve... Uh, the boots of the old gods with the weather that we got. Gauntlets of the old gods. Shrouded cowl. And let's say the shrouded armor. 
all up to exquisite. Excellent. Yeah, now if we put on the right gear. That should bring the damage up to 55, exactly. That's exactly where we should be. Done and done. What a journey. Okay, and now our, our armor rating is a little better. It's above 75 at least. <laughs> and that is it. I'm going to go back to the Thieves Guild, dump out these iron daggers, and uh, regroup. We'll be back next video to go whack a bandit, get a grand soul into this black star, and enchant one of our new dwarven epic bows. One of our new epic dwarven bows. Hey, watch it. Sorry. Uh, iron daggers go into the useful stuff and table. Phew. What a run. Wow. Okay, and I'll do the rest of the organizing off camera. That is it, people. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.